sorry, I'm going to hijack the JavaScript conference to talk about the TypeScript. Uh, how of you are using TypeScript or gave it a try? Oh, quite some of you. Okay. The TypeScript is awesome. There are two main big benefits of using the TypeScript. The confidence in the code that you're writing and the rich developer experience. Code navigation, code refactorings, and bug findings are available for you. Like in this example, the TypeScript warns us that this is not a good idea to subtract a string from a number. I feel this is a good bridge to my wife's presentation. Yeah? But okay, TypeScript is great, but can it be smarter? Can we do something to spot even more bugs? And the answer is yes. Actually, the TypeScript was built with the extensibility in mind so then users can write custom checks. There is a core part of the TypeScript compiler called language service. It is responsible for the common editing operations like code completions, error finding, quick fixes, code colorizations, uh, and many more. Actually, each time you launch your editor like Atom or VS Code or WebStorm, or Vim, why not? It actually communicates with the language service of the TypeScript to provide the good developer experience. Each time you open a TypeScript file, the code editor launches a special process called TS server, and this TS server encapsulates the TypeScript core and the language service and exposes them through a JSON protocol. The good news is it's possible to write a plugin for the language service that will enrich its capabilities. So let's get started. I will omit some scaffolding details, but the most important part here is that we'll extend the existing language service by overriding some of its methods. We'll try for this demo to enforce a simple practice. Let's make sure that each variable with a name starting with is contains a Boolean value. Logical, right? There is one thing you need to know before starting analyzing, analyzing the source code. This is called abstract syntax tree or IST. When TypeScript parses the source file, it generates its tree representation. This tree contains nodes where each node can have children. Like in this example, there is a variable declaration node, and it's two children. Identifier node is something, and numeric literal three. Each declaration, statement, or expression are represented as nodes, and the root node is called the source file. So to actually find the places in the code where you have issues, we'll recursively visit each node, starting from the root one. For each node, we'll check if the, variable, if the node is a variable declaration, if its name starts with is, and if it holds non-Boolean value, we'll report a new error. And now there is one last remaining step to see the results, is that you need npm install or npm link or yarn add the .js linter and put it in the plugin section of the TS config. Ebola, if we assign the expression to greater than one to variable is something, this is fully correct. However, when we assign the expression one plus two, which is three, to variable is another, we have our error. The good news is that this mechanism works in any editor, no matter what you run. This is uh, running on the compiler level. You can use it in your team or in your company for the bug finding. You can enforce some practices that you share. You can even write the quick fixes and code completions that you like. You can find the actual code of this linter on GitHub. Thank you. Yeah.